Hey there, on the Sao Cow playing some of similar demo world, super demo world. I don't know what happened there. Bowser's Castle, a beast of a level, probably, that has three exits. Basically, playing with the fact that beating Bowser does not count as an exit. Leaving a other normal exit to find, as well as a secret one. I, I think I want to get all three. Uh, however, if or when I get to Bowser, I will let him defeat me, because I do want to end the series... There's not an elevator, like, in the real Mario 3, huh? I want to end the series on, um... On the ending. Uh, so I'm not sure what to expect. I, I feel like I don't remember this at all. It might be a maze, like, it sure is presenting itself as a maze. Wow, that was... Good use of all my resources. Whoa, this is where the the pepper the pepper nostril Bowser statues start, huh? I always thought these looked so ridiculous. Well, we got a door here. It's lead somewhere. Whoa, check it out. It's Bowser's castle. It's Bowser's evil corridor. All right, now we're somewhere. Where is somewhere? I don't know. Yeah, this is very mazy. Like, where do you go? You get a lot of choices. Maybe too much choices. That is such a thing. Like, I'm kind of going without really thinking about it too much. You get, like, a huge amount of time for this level. Like, a worrisome amount of time. Like, maybe you want to go there back-to-back -back action, Mr. Guy. Statue dragon, here we go. Turtles on the floor, spinning on the shell until the end of time. That's probably very unpleasant. Uh, pro probably not too happy with their lot in life, if that's it. Okay, so it's just, you know, it's tile jumps and blah, blah. And here, you know, you get an up thing, but I, I can't up thing that thing. I don't got a springboard on me. I got this door I can go into, and once again, there's a door, and then there's things beyond the door. I don't know if it's like more passages, or... And I'm just kind of like, messing up royally. I'm supposed to like, go further and further. I, I just don't know. Alright, no snout. Whoa, there's a pop mushroom! Good time! I don't know, if, oh, well, you know what, I would have preferred... Oh, I can still get the feather. So, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Alright, well, it did it. Beat the game. Hey, look at that. It's a big old slowdown machine. These are the turbines that slow down time. It's incredible. Yeah, this goes, doesn't it? Like, I wonder if you go back in a door, like, do you return? Or do you go somewhere else completely? You get a place where the camera's not set correctly, now that's what I call a bonus. <laughs> so, you got a system where you can return backwards, like, I don't know, like, I feel like that's pretty scary, if anything. There's a little recess there and I have the ability to fly, so, like, I don't... Looking for things in this, what does it even mean? Like, as of yet, I haven't, don't think I hit a loop. Like, I'm just kind of steadily going forward, maybe, maybe not, I can't tell. Animation up there on the ceiling is struggling, though. No, this is still new. Everything is always new forever. Just keep on going further and further. This is where we get rewarded for switches. Whoa-ho. Can't believe if I just had dinner. Yeah, you definitely want Feather over Fireball. Like, Fireballs, they, they just... I mean, they're nice, but... They don't really do anything for you. Not on the same level, at the very least. Here, a camera continues. That meaningful? I don't know. Does he got enough space to run off here? Maybe, but there's nothing there. But, I mean, does that mean anything? Nothing means anything anywhere for you. Statues just standing there looking austere. Alright, here we get a fireball, and here we get a money. Well, I guess I got the fireball because I lost my feather in a really dumb way. Not proud of it, but it happened. Ooh, look at that guy. He's just hot. Alright, for once, let's look beyond a little bit. 
Let's not go in a first door we encounter. Because we get another door later on. Like, does that mean anything? I don't know. Just in a real room. Yeah, in a real room. This room is real. You can see it in Oklahoma City. In uh, the building dictionary. Under the definition of crocodile logic. Whoa. Got a sneezled. Yeah. Sneasel TV. Get hurt by everything. Here we go. Back to back monstrosity. That's what we believe in. This is a pretty hefty level, and there's spikes on the ceiling. Yeah, it's true. Can't deny what you can't see. Well, no, it's kind of the opposite. I'm uh, a little concerned, because this is going on a while. I don't even know what path I took everywhere necessarily very well. And at any point, I feel like I'm just gonna die. Where am I now? Oh. I think I just kinda stumbled on the regular road. Yeah. Okay, I did it! I beat the game! Everyone knows that I can beat Bowser, like, that's not an issue. But what about the other exits? Oh boy, where do I even start? Is there, like, a springboard or something beyond here? Hey, I got here from the other direction, so I did go on a big, weird, useless loop. I think, maybe. Oh, I guess that's something you can do. Maybe. Get, like, a side fireball. Maybe. Yeah, I have seen this. I haven't been here, though, so might as well look at this here. At least a door. And where does this door lead? Somewhere. Another chainy part. Alright, well. Fair enough. Is it just chains everywhere? Like, I don't know. Like, there could be an entrance in that wall. There couldn't be. I, I just do not know. Hmm. You can go here. You can go beyond. And I don't know what I need at all. But there's more chains forever, and you can go down a little bit. Maybe sometimes you can screen scroll, but it doesn't work immediately. Immediately, that's weird. Yeah, this is just kind of going on in a weird way. Anything down there? Not that I can tell. Like, do I want to take that risk? Like, not really. Here we got dragons sneezing at each other. That's not very healthy. I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit, scratch my nose, there we go. Um, alright, well, I could've ducked too, like, I didn't need a panic. I can't tell if this is familiar or not. Like, that's what I find kind of weirdly amazing. I just cannot tell. Well, I wanted to try and see if I could fly and see if there's anything up there, but those dreams are gone. Here I got basically one place I can go. Is it exciting? Is it new? I think it's still new stuff, which is pretty amazing. That's a ninja. He hops. Wow, you did it. You hop. Uh, can you go up? Okay, no, you can't go up between those spikes. That's not what that means. Froom. That's right. That's what they all say down here. Froom. I don't know how best to describe the sound. I mean, like, this is kind of scary, but it's scary because of the, just, the huge size of the level. Like, it goes on forever and a half. And dying can be costly. I just don't know what I'm doing. Alright, I can go 
here. All right, the potable just went away. It just disappeared. It was like, I'm done with y'all, y'all. Is this still new? I believe this is still new. All right. Big old corridor here. Like, it's... It invokes previous rooms, but it is different. Amazing. In its own way. It's just... So many Bowser-like constructions. So there's a door here I might want to go in. Maybe I don't want to go in, though. And that's the thing. I don't know. Did it, though. I swear that guy. Oh, see? Up there looks really interesting. mid hop. Oh, all this time, I could just do that. <laughs> Wait. And, like, I know the way of the hop, but no, it's fine. It's just summon forth a block. It's all good. Well, this is new. This is double feathers. <laughs> so here, ooh, do you think it might be up there? No. Like, I keep seeing these divots in the ceilings, and I keep thinking that there are places you can go, but they're never. No, okay. Well, still, this is clearly the reward for the switches. Like, you don't need all of them, but it certainly makes the path easier. And you end up back here anyways. It was just an alternate way. I don't think there were any other ways. It makes me sad. Yeah, yeah, we've been here. We have been here. Whoops, well... Okay, you can totally lift off from here. Assuming there's no fireballs in a way. Alright, so I can just get up here, inside this door, and... This is different. So those are permanent flames. I see that on. I wonder if they're like switch triggered flames. Now I take this door here and I'm just end up in the middle of here, which is just back here. Like I'm back in the in the main game. So do I need to go there? Yeah, I haven't found any other switch blocks. I can't switch that. I haven't been up there, though? Is there a place you can actually, like, take off from safely? It's all the way here. Okay, what if we do that in order to just kind of keep going, keep going. There we go. Keep our flight going. And realize all there is here is three coins? What? So I have to assume this is a place where we can respawn at then. Dang it. Oh, Alright. Can I go in this first door? Everything looks the same. I'm not sure if I've been here or not before. Like, yeah, I died by double sprite glitching here, but... Like, have I... Have I been here before? I don't remember Thwomps, so I guess not. Okay, so I was right to be skeptical, but... Man, everything just looks like everything in this level. Like, nothing looks unique. Okay, this is a nod to the original Mario 3 castle. Except it's not donut blocks, but just bricks. Then immediately, we're something else completely. Oh, is that it? So it's just a path through the castle. One of them, ladies, is a key! Look at that! Someone put a star there on the side yard. Uh, I... okay. Sure. Yeah, 
My biggest beef, I think, is the fact that there is, like, n no real... Um... Guideposts. This is everything looks the same. So for the other exit, just more of the same. All right, let's think about doors I haven't taken yet. So I'm sure I went underneath here at some point. Did I go up here ever? No, yeah, I did. It was that room with more hanging ons. I think I skipped a door here, so that's as good a start as ever. Yeah, 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 like right here. This is a door I've never been into. And... That's expected. I'm somewhere completely new and scary. I think I've never been here. It's so hard to tell. I don't think I've ever been here. Coins on top. There's a door there, there's a door here. I'm absolutely 1000% sure I've never been here, so I'm feeling good about this door for what it's worth. Let's see what happens. How have I been here before? Well, no, this is new, so you need to get here big. That's... interesting. That leads you to... This tiny little sickly room here. Well, at least this is new! This is new! At... We're in this thing. You need switches to activate these fire. So I got a cape, I can go up here. Is there another way to get up here? I don't know, but there's a door, and that's not a door I was stuck at before, so let's check this one out. You need to have a feather to get here, but... There's an NG. There's that guy's a Sneezy. Sneezy? Okay, oh, yeah, this is new. I would remember... block formations like this. Oh, vertical. You can duck underneath the fire if you want. You probably want, if you want to want. Look at that, we're somewhere! Hey! So I was wondering about that pit, because this is like a super secret, so it might be hidden in a pit. But we just got a ninja jumping from below, which was a pretty useful hint, honestly. That just kinda happened by accident. I remember the screen! Okay, I remember the screen from past Let's Plays I've seen. Alright. I blocked access to the Boo hideout like they wanted. Bunch of cowards! If that big boo didn't scare me so much, why I... So these coins matter. Alright. Um, I might do a little bit of science here. Alright, so... This is... Okay, I'm gonna put a science bar here. There's a reason for this, because this is important. We're gonna be looking at a really weird glitch, I think, maybe- oh, maybe not. Huh, so you have no way of testing this. Alright, in that case... Uh, I'm gonna be doing something very weird. Remember something that happened way in the past, like, a while ago. I tried to do a Smebek-style zip, and all that happened is that I died? Well, if you do it here, you don't die. There's a level setting where you set it so you have side exits, I believe. It makes it so you survive the process of zipping. But there's no indication about this here. Like, you just have to know because, yeah, you do this anywhere else and you die. Like I said, I'm doing this now because I... This is one of those scenes I perfectly remember from an LP I've seen in the past. So, sorry about that. I don't get to go in the process of learning this on my own. But, no. Yeah. This is just... Huh. Well, so yeah, the reason I wanted science is I was expecting side exit to go out there, because if you got... if you're in the level mode that had side exit, then you don't dive and means that... I don't know why. There's no reason. Place right in the middle with such care. Could there be a hidden path up there? Alright. Play... Yeah, yeah, hey, look at that. Dark Star Adventure! This is an important little thing because this is how we're going to access 
a little thing called the special world, basically, the pose game. Uh, also, it completes, uh, finally, Bowser's moat, so now he doesn't look foolish at all anymore, anywhere. You know, pretty lucky guy, that guy. Wait, there's a star in the sky. Yeah, look at that. I bet that's a star exit we unlock from the Star World. Alright, so Star World shenanigan, and then Pose Game shenanigan. The game is over, but it's not really over. Still got a few more days to go over.